Hello, my name is Malikar. Nice to meet you. Um, let's go. I was, oh, I almost said like, okay, let's continue. Like nothing happened. What will it be? Oh, we still need to go to. Oh my god. Oh my god. No veil, right? You cannot use it here. If we go slow. Oh my god, he stops. Oh, he didn't show me. That's nice. Huh. Look, there it is. All right. Oh, so we're back here again. Stop your whinging, man. I mean, it could be worse. Huh? Oh, Nickers! <sighs> that tank. That's the very latest weapon in Hamlin's arsenal. You're telling me machines are turning into monsters now? <laughs> say. Come on. I'm gonna try him and kill it with hits. Oh, electricity. Got it. Border fire frost pulse. Pulse is electricity. Wait, no. These things may be different from that tank we've talked before, but it's got the same weakness as any other machine. Storm magic. Do I even have storm magic here? It's not pulse. Clot burst? Wait, cl clot burst is kinda freaking storm for real. Well, ah, oh, no effect. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, nice, but give me things. Even star. I think when they say storm. Do you have storm magic? Wind, snow. No. Do you have storm magic? Who is the one that got the storm magic? What are you doing? Oh, you did that. Okay, never run. All. Okay, wait. There we go. Thunderbolt. Ah, oh, wait. SL also. Yes, nice. Give me that. Come on. Get it. I need storm. Kinda. Let's do it again. Guys, there are like three things. So get it. Another one. Get it. Nice. Take this. Do it, Gandalf. 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 The hell, Gandalf? What's wrong with you? You didn't do it. Gandalf, do the thing. Nice. What the hell? No, I don't want you. I don't like things when it's... All this stop doing... Uh, maybe it's because I don't know what I put to you. Come on, guys. Oh my god, Oli. What's wrong with you? That's why I need to control you. Because then you die. All oh, right, second form, right? Oh god damn it! Now we need a storm. Big shot. The hell is that? All right. Yeah, you take it, you take it. Come on, Song of Soul. God damn it. I don't care your song of anything. <laughs> All this stuff to win. <laughs> no, don't attack. To the thunderstorm. Bolt. Nice. Attack? Come on, come on. Get it. Nice. Oh my god, he's doing ping ping. Do 
Evan Star. Take this. Oh, we still do a lot of damage, it seems. Thank you. Come on, fast. Nice. I think stopped. Oh my god. Come on. No, 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 P, 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 P. Okay, okay, now. No, okay, okay. Oh, damn it. Only. Unleashed. Oh, I could have summon. Oh, the octopus thing. I don't know how to say it in English. Is that? No, it's not that. Give me cappuccino. And I can summon that thing. Oh, god damn it. Don't hit me like that. Oh my god, don't don't come near me. God damn it, no. Leave me alone. Thank you. Oh my god. No, no, no. Stop, no, stop doing things. Where is it? Bolt from bold. From blue. Go. Now, we are talking now. I forgot about this one. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my god, wait. Why are you still alright? I'm gonna only. No! There we go. I think this one will kill you. Please die. Get that thing out of your face. Bye! Bye. Up. P, it's time for your magic. Right. Thank you, bye. Hmm. Do you think that means everybody in Hamelin is cured now? Yep. Which means it's time for the prince to tend to his people. Your Majesty, the city is in ruins. Have we been invaded by wild beasts? I'd watch what you call them, they were you. Huh, oh, so we were the beasts? This is terrible, Your Majesty, did we attack you? I'm too beautiful to be attacked. As you can see, I'm in harm, and I'm concerned about the state of the great city. But our chief concern should still be discover the cause of all this. Until I have done so, I must leave Hamel in your hands. Captain Hogarth, your orders are to begin re reconstruction immediately. Yes, your majesty, you could go to war, don't you not? You must take our latest technology with you. Okay. Your forethought is as welcome as ever, Captain. I leave the Empire in your capable hands. Play made you actually sound like an Emperor for a moment there. <laughs> yes, it was like I was seeing a completely different person. I made a promise to my brother. Oh. <clears throat> in any case, Ho Hogarth is a fine leader. He can be relied upon the rebuild Hamil while I'm gone. There's a trusting you are, right? Oh, let's get back to the Iron Weaver, shall we? Last flower, I suppose. We're just three kingdoms. Don't give me more. We have saved the three kingdoms from the scourge of the mana. As representative of the peoples of this war, I give you our heartfelt thanks. You're welcome, but it was all thanks to P, really. Yay, thanks to P. <laughs> and yet we're not closer to knowing who it was that sent the mana that to assail us. Your magic allows us to avert a tragedy of unthinkable proportion, P, but we cannot allow this to happen again. To right, Mon. We need to find whoever was behind all this and give them a proper hitting. But we have no idea who it could be. Perhaps not, although something about Spistor has been troubling me. It has. When we were in your war, she told you that the ash falling was her fault. 
Well, sure, but hey, there's no way it was her. That's impossible. Does it not also seem impossible that a tiny child should have the ability to reverse the effect of the mana? And yet we have seen it with our own eyes, but that is not the only reason I think she may be able to tell us more. I believe P may hold the key to unlocking this entirely mystery. Yes, P's got the key. Oh, you found another flower, did you? Great, let's have another look. Is this really the time for your stupid comments? We need to take this seriously. Indeed, I fear the next vision may not be a pleasant one. No matter, we must see the truth with our own eyes. P, would you be so kind? Here. So she kinda knows... Okay, explain to me how it happened. How? How could this happen? Every man, woman, and child in my kingdom. How? Why did this happen? Mana was meant to help them. Not... not this. Tell me why. My name is Cassiopeia. I am Queen of Nazcar. When I was a child, I was known as P. I lived together with my father and did not want for anything. Then, when my beloved father passed away, I ascended the throne, little knowing what horrors awaited me. Ignorant of the affairs of state, I allowed the Council of Twelve to control everything. But the Council paid not the slightest heed to the well-being of my subjects. I had always thought of Nazcar as a peaceful realm, but now I saw that it was blighted by greed and torn apart by conflict. The scales had fallen from my eyes. I felt the desperation of those ground down by poverty. I felt the pain of those fighting for survival. And I saw how I had lived a gilded life of luxury. A life they could never hope to enjoy. I decided that I must change. I would work for the good of others and do all I could to eliminate conflict. That is how I arrived at my decision. Okay. That is what drew me to the spell that would save the world. Mana. But who told you that? When I came to use that spell, not a doubt clouded my mind. I was certain that the mana would purify the hearts of my people. But then... My dream of peace turned into a nightmare. All those whom the mana touched became beasts and turned upon each other. Did the console years, tell her that? The nightmare went on. The years stretched to decades. And still it continued. Then one day, I realized there was no one left. The council was gone. The guards were gone. My ladies in waiting, too. They were all gone. The manor I had unleashed had claimed the lives of every one of them. I am completely and utterly alone. But. Death is a privilege I shall never know. And who can say what this endless solitude may make of me? Well, is that she mortal? Is why I have decided to fill these flowers with my memories. If you have found this flower, mm -hmm. I pray that you will find your way to me. That is my only wish. Until then, I shall be waiting. Always waiting. Alone in Nazcar. But... There's still some pieces. Quickly, there's tragedy. The spell she used went and ruined her whole country. The mana of which she spoke. It's the same thing we've been dealing with here. So the person behind all this is Queen Cassi Cassiopeia. 
She may not have intended any harm, but it seems a distinct possibility. You are right, she said she would be waiting, didn't she, in a place called Nazca. Smelly old Nazca. Nazca, eh? Creaky, that's a blast from the past. What, what it is? Do you know something about this place? The fabled kingdom of Nazca was the seat of an advanced civilization that disappeared almost overnight. Ten thousand years ago. Ten thousand years ago? And Queen Cassipioia has been waiting for all that time? If we can find that side of the ancient kingdom, perhaps we can solve the mystery of the man at last. Yeah, and we can stop her from ever using it again. Yes, we have to stop her. Alright, let's go find the kingdom of Nazca. Oh my god, it's raining. Okay, I'm gonna end it till here because it's raining. <laughs> Maybe I continue. So. Queen Cassipure, the one that is here right now, the White Queen. White Witch, but let's call it the White Queen. She sent those flowers of pieces of memory so they can find her. So in some way or form, she also sent her younger, her younger self with the spell to purify the mana. That's what I'm thinking. It's, it's raining too strong. So, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Or it's stopping. Okay, the, the rain will be atmosphere. The rain will be atmosphere. <laughs> So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Somewhere, some form, she sent the flowers and she also sent P. No, it's our time. It's the present time. No, maybe maybe it was in the past, but P is immortal as the flower and she's a flower. Something like that. Let's see what happens. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And see you in the next one. If you guys want. Um. I lose myself in